Hey everyone, in this video we will install and configure the Hukou LiDAR and Razer IMU. Luckily both of these have ROS packages readily available and hence the process is quite straightforward. For any other sensor you might want to use in future, you can look up to its package availability in ROS and follow similar steps. Connect your Datsun board to a display, keyboard, mouse and an Ethernet cable. On the terminal, use the following command to install the Hokoyo node package. When you connect your LiDAR to Jitsun, it generally connects to the ACM ports which can be checked using the command. This will list all the ACM ports currently being used. If you are doing this for the first time, you need to provide specific permissions to the port by using the command. This will provide the read and write permissions for ROS to communicate with the sensor. To check the data coming from LiDAR, as explained in initial ROS tutorials, run the ROS code first. On the other terminal, run the Koyu node. Then comes ROS topic list. This will show all the topics currently being published. The scan topic is the one we are interested in. These dump of messages might not make sense now, but the values correspond to distance sensed by LiDAR at different angles. We can visualize the laser scans by a GUI interface called Arvis. Unfortunately, due to the driver issues, Arvis doesn't work on Jetson. If you had set up ROS over network explained in the previous tutorial properly, you can run Arvis over the system that has been set up for the network. As you can see, these are the laser scans. It might not show up on its own on your system, so you might want to insert it. Now, to install the packages for IMU, go back to the Jetson and install the package using command. Let's keep the default parameters untouched and take a copy for us to make some tweaks. You can calibrate the IMU by following the link provided in the reference and mention the measured offset values in the newly made file. To confirm the communication of IMU with ROS, use the launch file. You can now run ROS topic list in another window and look for the IMU topic. ROS topic echo will allow you to see the incoming data stream. So the packages for both these sensors are ready. You can follow similar steps to install it on any ROS system. It's better not to clog Jetson's memory with useless packages and hence you should install any extra packages on your laptop. For example, to visualize the IMU data, you need to install the Python visual package. Install the IMU packages on your ROS system and then install the Python visual using the command.
once done, run the launch file. This red board on the screen is following the motion of my IMU. Feel free to change the config parameters and play around with this to improve the performance.